Looking for cheap NBA 2K MT coins or Madden coins? Head on over to buy2kmod.com for the cheapest coins online and use code CRUSH for 35% off your order. Link will be in the description. What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Denny Abdiha Chicago Bulls rebuild. Now before we get into this guys, make sure you guys smash that like button and of course, after recording this video, we're literally three subs away from 14k so we might have reached it by the time this video goes out so... If you aren't subscribed, change it right now. And if we reach 14K, thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. Other than that, guys, I'm excited to do this one. Uh, I'm actually recording this also before the Pacers and Miami Heat game is over. So if the Pacers do get eliminated, expect a Pacers offseason rebuild coming soon. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the Bulls rebuild. Go Bulls, man. Uh, they finally fired Jim Boylan and they won the fourth pick in the draft. So things are looking up for Chicago and I really hope they uh, have a really good draft. Things go their way and I hope they get a good coach. Now the coach, I really like the Bulls to go get. And I think uh, Kenny also, as we all know, King of the Fourth Quarter, one of the biggest Bull fans we all know in the Miley League community, uh, really wants this guy. And I think uh, this guy makes a lot of sense for Chicago. I haven't heard any ramblings about who Chicago's interested in. But if I can find him out here, I actually went ahead and fired him from the Nets. And of course, that's Kenny Atkinson. I think Kenny Atkinson makes a ton of sense here in Chicago. He was very good in developing the Bulls, or in the, uh, the Nets, I should say. And I feel like he, he could do a great job developing this young Bulls roster. So I'm definitely liking the idea of Kenny Atkinson being the coach for the Chicago Bulls. I'm definitely going for that. And then I also want to go to the trainer and uh, let's get started with Randy Martin. So yeah, as we all know, the Bulls did win the fourth pick, obviously. So they might take somebody else, but I feel like Denny of Dha makes a lot of sense here. They've uh, they drafted a point guard last year in Kobe White. Uh, they have Zach Levine, the shooting guard, assuming they don't trade him this offseason now that Jim Boylan's gone. Uh, you got no small forward. You have Otto Porter there right now, but I don't know if you're invested in him long term. Then power forward, obviously, you have Laurie Markkinen and Wendell Carter at the center. So basically, you have your spots filled up. The small forward spot makes a lot of sense. You could draft Denny Abdiha, who's supposed to be a very good prospect. So it's not like you're even just going for like uh, the position you need. You're also going for a really good player at the position you need. So I really like this idea for the Bulls to go after Denny Abdiha here. So that's who we're going to draft today. So I'm going to assume nobody's going to grab him here. And that's who we're taking here with this fourth pick. We'll kind of have to see who goes number one, number two, and number three. He might go ahead of us, but let's see. So Edwards went number one, Lamelo went number two, and Wiseman went number three. So of course, who we're taking here is Denny Abdiha. That way he can come join the Chicago Bulls. And I think Denny Abdiha said he's a Bulls fan in real life as well. So it all works out there. And now we're going to go to the second round. Not that it really matters here, but hey, maybe we can get somebody decent here to join us. So let's go. I guess we can take Jit Ramsey. I don't know how good he is because I don't pay attention to a lot of college basketball. But now we have Avdija and Ramsey here, which is awesome. So player options, Otto Porter accepts, of course, his terrible contract. Reggie Bullock, I don't even think he's supposed to be here. Start today is broken, so I simulated a season before. And yeah, that's why he's uh, here. But obviously, we're not going to accept that team option. Qualifying offers, Adam Okaka and Denzel Valentine are free agents. Chris Dunn, I guess I can see myself offering the restricted offer on him as well. Definitely wouldn't mind getting him back. And then you got Zach Levine, Wendell Carter, Laurie Markton, Otto Porter, Sadoransky, Kobe White, Hudson Gaffers. I mean, like this roster is pretty talented. Getting Denny of Dia here, maybe he could come in, be a really good scorer for you right away. And the Bulls could be... Fighting for a bottom seat in the Eastern Conference. And then, of course, it's just a matter of watching Laurie Markin and Wendell Carter develop behind uh, Zach Levine and all that. So I'm really excited for this Bulls future. And, of course, Kobe White, not to mention it as well. So when you look at the team right now, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, we, have, we honestly have depth. The only thing I guess I should probably look at maybe is a backup shooting guard. Do we have any important free agents? Uh, Chris Dunn and Denzel Valentine definitely wouldn't mind getting either of them back. But it's not that big of a deal if we don't. Uh, but shooting guards we can go for. There's like a Malik Beasley. Maybe if uh, the Timberwolves draft Anthony Edwards, Malik Beasley would be more available. There's also DeAnthony Melton. Maybe I could get my hands on. Give him like a two-year deal to come be a backup shooting guard for us for the time being. And I think that's going to be like the only signing I make. Unless if there's a... I could probably use a backup four potentially as well. So I guess I'll look at that just in case. There's Myers Leonard, Markeith Morris, Rebco. There's Scala this year. I guess I can give Scal a one-year deal just for that depth if we need it. So let's go Scal for one year. Not that it really matters, but hey, this is going to be our roster going into season number one. I'm really excited to see how this team develops together. Lawyer marketing should be a lot better now that Jim Boylan's gone. Window Carter. You just want to see the Bulls develop. I mean, they have a very young roster now. Things are going to go the right way. You just got to get the right coach in place for this team. And I'm really excited for this Bulls future. I'm not even going to lie. So this will be our nine-man rotation going into season number one. We got Kobe White, Levine, Otto Porter, Lori Markton, Wendell Carter, Sadoransky, Melton Gafford, and Chandler Hudson. So honestly, 
I don't really like this too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Denny Abdiha to right here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually swap Abdiha and auto Porter. Cause I kind of want Abdiha to start honestly right away. Just give him, might as well just give him the minutes while we can and let him develop even more. Maybe shrink those minutes a little bit. We'll do something like that. And then we can give Abdiha like 30 minutes and hopefully he can come in and be a pro right away for this team. But I'm really liking that. Proficiency is two at balance. So we definitely don't want to keep it that way. We go up to three at balance. So we'll move it or two at defense and we'll move it to balance. So we can go up to three. Other than that, guys, I hope you uh, or I or I don't know what I was trying to say. I hope this first season goes decently well and uh, maybe we can make the playoffs this first season or maybe we'll be somewhat close. At the end of season number one, we end up going 36 and 46, which is better than last year at the very least. But I don't think that's going to be good enough to be in the playoffs. Look at there. Brett Brown, still the coach of the 76ers. 76ers fan worst nightmare here on 2k but all NBA first team all NBA second team and it doesn't look like we get anybody obviously but hey did we I guess we did make the playoffs for the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference which is honestly insane but uh when we look at the stats we had 19 from Levine you had 18 from marketing and 15 from Abdiya so that's awesome to see window card 11 and 10 and a block per game awesome as well Kobe White 10 Gafford with 10 and then the Anthony Mellon auto Porter did their thing as well. So very excited to see development and production. And we're, I mean, we're in the playoffs. So, I mean, you can't be mad at that. Obviously we did go 36, 46. So it's not the greatest record in the world, but now we have to deal with Ben Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Al Horford, Joel Embiid. So literally the same 76, same 76ers roster other than I guess they have in his cancer now. Let's somebody come around and uh, let's even get a game on them. And no, we're actually going to beat them in six games. Okay. So we advanced past the 76ers and we're in the second round now. Interesting. We're playing the Brooklyn Nets now who have Kyrie Irving, LaVert, Durant, Torian, and Jared Allen, Dinwiddie, DeAndre Jordan, Rodney Hood, Claxton. Any shot we beat the Nets here? I don't think so, but you just never know with this game. And uh, okay. So the Nets are going to go up three to zero on us and we're going to beat them in seven. Makes a lot of sense here. All right, now we're playing the Celtics. So already... We're in the Eastern Conference Finals, which is kind of wild. I'm not going to lie. Kimba, Brown, Hayward, Tatum, Tyus, Mark Smart, Robert Williams. There's no way we beat this team, right? Okay, I was about to say. So we get swept in the Eastern Conference Finals, but hey, we made it pretty far. I'm not even going to lie. The fact that we got to the ECF is pretty insane, but the Celtics win over the Nuggets in seven. And how about the Nuggets being down three to one to the Jazz? Something I did not see coming, but uh, that's neither here or there. Let's go to the draft lottery now. Honestly... I probably would have rather have been in the lottery, but I will definitely take an Eastern Conference Finals appearance over anything else. But we're, we have the 17th pick in this draft. Uh, we go to Staff Sonny. Kenny Axon, of course, just did his thing, so I'm not going to get rid of him or anything. Let's go to the draft now. And with the 17th pick, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So Melton's fine. So let's go with the 17th pick and just see if we get something decent here. Definitely maybe could have been a trade-up scenario, but I, I think I'll just stay right here. So there's Keon Johnson, Kai Soto, Earl Timberlake. Uh, I did sign, I guess, mm, a 7-2 from Philippines. Isaiah Mobley, Greg Brown, Isaiah Todd. Why not? I'll go Kai Soto just to change it up. I don't draft him a whole lot. So Kai Soto out of the Philippines, 73 overall. Definitely could be a nice backup center for us one day. Sadoransky, I think I'm actually going to decline him and uh, free up the cap space because I might be trying. We definitely need to sign lower marketing back as well. But moratorium day. I don't know. If, do we have cap space? We have 31 million. Oh, yeah, we should have some cap space. Okay. Auto Porter's big contract's gone. Felicio's gone as well. Obisier, RT Diacono, Luke Cornett, Oedem Mokoka. So we have $48 million now. So look at the roster now. We got Kobe White, the point guard still. Zach Levine, DeAnthony Mellon, Chandler Hudson, Denny of Deha. No power forward. Obviously, we're going to get Markinen back. Will Carter and uh, Daniel Gafford's great. Uh, so we're honestly good everywhere else. Now, there's something I kind of do in every Bulls rebuild, but it just I feel like it never gets old. And, I mean, he's kind of out here in free agency, so it's almost like you got to do it, right? I mean, Derrick Rose bringing him back to Chicago, just it's just awesome. What did he average last year? He averaged, uh, if I can look at it correctly, he averaged 17 for the okay so that's pretty good and i mean chicago there's the potential they could convince a free agent to come here which maybe we shouldn't be going after derrick rose but hey it's always that story but we're gonna get marketing back and yeah i kind of like the idea of getting derrick rose back i'm not even gonna lie i'll give him like a two-year deal maybe our two-year player option kind of thing see if he accept that and uh where's number one offer of course he wants to come back to chicago and we'll sign derrick rose back and of course we still want to get marketing back and I'm not worried about Otto Porter. So we'll sign Derrick Rose, have that going for us. And then Markkinen's going to get matched. And now we'll have both those guys coming in. So Derrick Rose is going to be a very great six man for us. 
Kobe White as well at that point guard spot. And of course, one thing I know that every time you get Derrick Rose, uh, everybody wants you to do, if I can find it, is you want to move that jersey number back to number one. I'm sure everybody will love that. So Derrick Rose is now rocking the number one again. And yeah, so this roster is looking pretty good. I like how it's looking so far. Got marketing back. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm um, yeah, I'm liking this roster going forward. We're gonna go straight into season number two. I mean, literally just made the Eastern Conference Finals last year. We're gonna have more development out of marketing. Wendell Carter, Kobe White, Abdiya should be up a little bit now as well. And then Derek Rose is gonna be a very good six man going forward. So you love to see it. Let's go ahead and go into season number two. And hey, maybe this time we'll even make the NBA finals. In the season number two, we end up going 52 and 30, which is absolutely fantastic after last season going 36 and 46. Giannis is the MVP again, Mobley Rookie of the Year. Drummond's your six man on the Pistons again. Is that where he's at? Okay, Detroit wants Drummond back apparently. Anthony Davis, defense player, and Killian Hayes, most proved on the Pistons. Okay. And Ray Carlisle's coach of the year as the Mavericks went 56 and 26. We're not too far. From the coach of the year's record uh nba first team nobody here do we get anybody on any of these all nba teams probably not but you just never know an all defensive first team and all defensive second team and yeah so nothing going on there we are the second seed in the east we did beat the nets last year so i can imagine we'll beat them again player stats 21 for marketing you love to see marketing doing very well in the nba you had 19 from zach levine 14 from derrick rose and 13 from denny of Dia, and 12 and from kobe white as well how did everybody shoot? You got 39%, 42, 28, 43, 38. I like it a lot. And then this was the rotation we were rocking with. We had, uh, of course, Derek Rose being the sixth man. Kobe White starting. Levine, Abdiha, Markkinen, Wendell Carter, Derek Rose. Things are looking up, man. Hopefully, guys, we can go into these uh, playoffs. And, hey, maybe we can bring home a championship to Chicago right now. So we're playing the Nets again. We beat them last year, surprisingly. Let's see if we can do it again. And, uh a close series it's going to a game seven all right man let's see if we can uh knock them out here in chicago this is gonna be a very close game i feel like but hey uh we have the upper hand being in chicago and it's not looking good as we lose 105 to 88 so not good but hey definitely a nice run i guess in the first season but hopefully in this third season we can get something going again so for the draft um nothing too much going on here we have the Suns win the number one pick, and I don't think we have that crazy of a good pick. Probably won't worry about it too much. Kenny Atkinson, you know, doing great so far, so I'll keep him around. The draft of the 26 pick, probably not going to worry about it too much. Probably should have sent Kai Soto to the G League. I just didn't even think about it. Qualifying offers, Wendell Carter's a free agent. Anthony Mellon, I wouldn't mind having back. And Hutchinson, wouldn't mind having all those guys back, obviously. And then, yeah, Zach Levine's a free agent as well. Okay, what can I afford out here? So we could go for, like, Bradley Beal, shoot for the fences. Markel Fultz still out here. TJ Warren, Blake Griffin, Nurkic. I think I'd rather just take my chances by resigning everybody, to be honest. That way we can kind of keep this roster together just because I feel like we have a good thing going so far. So I'm going to go ahead and offer Zach Levine that five year deal. Uh, we'll have him. Wendell Carter. I'm definitely not renouncing the rights on any of these guys. I don't know why it defaultsly does that. Uh, probably because it doesn't want you to go over the luxury tax, but this is freaking 2K, so I do not care about that. So we're going to sign Zach Levine back. Uh, Wendell Carter has yet to get a good offer, it looks like. So, I mean, if he comes back as qualifying offer, I'm definitely not complaining. But so far, I'm not liking this defaultly renouncing rights thing because I'm definitely not renouncing the rights on any of these guys. All right, Hutchinson gets an offer. We're going to keep that going. So, we'll match Hutchinson, I guess. And then, is it finally not going to renounce him? Thank you. Okay. Wendell Carter kind of waiting for that offer to come to him, and he does not get a good offer. So, we'll get him back. 89 89 88 86 85 i mean this team is developing well you can only imagine going into season number three we have a very good chance at bringing a championship home to the chicago bulls once again Giannis wins mvp at the end of the third season we go 52 and 30 again amani bates rookie of the year on the suns lamello is your sixth man on the warriors 80 defense player lewis is your most approved and taylor jenkins coach of the year on the grizzlies we are the second seed in the eastern conference when we go look at the player stats we had 22 21 13, 13, 12, 11, 10, 6, 4, and uh, 0, of course, not getting any minutes. We're playing the Cavaliers here, who have uh, Garland, Sexton, Jalen Johnson, Kevin Love, Jonas Valanciunas, and Cole Anthony coming off the bench. Uh, so let me do this. And I'm going to simulate game by game here, because uh, the Cavaliers always seem to beat me for some reason. It's kind of weird how it works. We're up 2-0 to zero so far, so I'm definitely liking how this is starting, and I think should beat them here to close it out and we sweep them all right semi-current round we're playing the lower seed of brooklyn nets again i'm gonna go game by game here 
that did beat us last year we beat them in the first season they beat us last season in seven games so let's see if we can beat them this time we're up two to zero we're off to a great start and two to one all right we go up three to one on them and yes we do let me simulate current round and we beat them in five all right uh now we're playing the 76ers who have mcconnell richardson harris ben simmons and bead and his cancer we beat this team at six that one uh first season right all right let's see if we can beat them again they're up one to zero uh we even it up okay good start all right two to one yes and three to one yep and can we beat this team in five games and win the NBA finals that's what i'm talking about all right now we're playing the new orleans pelicans who have halliburton boston ingram zion gobert hayes nick alexander walker nikola miritich definitely not a bad roster and we won game one we went uh they won game two okay game three goes to them not good game four goes to us okay uh, i'm gonna go simcast now let's go to simcast and let's see if we can take the three to two lead here in chicago and bring it back to new orleans and maybe win the championship as we do win this one go up to three to two so we have home court advantage if we do lose here uh so let's go ahead and see if we can close it out though in new orleans to end off the video it's looking good thus far and it looks like just like that oh it's a close game actually let's watch this slowly 104 106 to 104 we're way to 104 one way to 106 uh it's a close game oh my gosh 110 to 108 i have to see who hit that last shot uh play by game log hey three point jump shot miss imagine jackson hayes taking the last shot go bear layup shot miss fd has six rebounds i thought that said 16 for a second kobe white jump shot missed oh wait never mind uh go bear free throw missed why williamson uh who hit the last or who hit the shot oh white layup so kobe white did make the last shot okay cool so we won the championship and zach levine is your finals mvp so i'm i imagine that would be like a dream scenario for the chicago bulls going forward they draft any of d uh, get Derek rose down the line and hey maybe bring home a championship to chicago like the old days anyways guys thank you for watching definitely leave it a like if you enjoyed what video you guys do you want to see next assuming the pacers get eliminated today which i don't know if they will or not they might push it to five or six uh would you rather see the pacers or the nets next let me know and i don't think any other team can get eliminated today so we're probably or maybe tomorrow they could i don't know we'll figure it out but right now at the top of my head i know pacers and nets are coming soon anyways guys thank you for watching this crushables i'm saying peace